Fox News Alert. The full transcript of Biden's former business partner, Devin Archer, has just been released. And it confirms everything that Joe Biden and the media have been lying to you about. Archer testified, not only did Joe Biden know about his son's foreign business, but Vice President Joe Biden sat at elegant dinners that lasted hours with his son's foreign clients, and he knew exactly who they were. According to Archer, Joe would enter the room and shake everybody's hand. They weren't going to him. Joe Biden was coming to them. One of these dinners, Archer says, was a birthday dinner at Cafe Milano in Georgetown in the spring of 2014. Now, we checked. Neither Joe, Hunter, or Archer have birthdays in the spring. So why was the vice president attending one of his son's dirty foreign client's birthday dinners? Well, according to Archer, the guest list for the birthday dinner included Russian billionaires, friends of Putin, a Burisma executive, and a Kazakhstani businessman. One of them was a billionaire. And here's a picture of Joe Biden from the birthday dinner. The guy on the right of the picture is a former Kazakhstani intel chief who was charged with treason and sent to prison for 18 years. I wonder what Biden talked to him about. Probably just the weather. And when dinner wrapped up, the money came rolling in. Archer says after the birthday dinner, one of the Kazakhstanis wired Hunter $142,000. It was wired through a bank that was later shut down for helping North Korea buy ballistic missiles. On the wiring instructions from the dirty bank, the reason for the wire, the Kazakhstani wrote this for car. Hunter took the $142,000 and wired it to a car dealership in Jersey, where he bought a brand new Porsche Panamera. See how this works? Hunter brings daddy to the dinner with clients and drives off in a Porsche. It's a birthday dinner, but Hunter gets the gift. And what father sees his son driving around in a brand new Porsche and doesn't ask, how'd you pay for it? But a bigger gift came later. A Russian billionaire, who was also at the birthday dinner with Joe, wired Hunter's company three and a half million dollars afterwards. And President Biden just happened to have left her off the sanctions list for the Ukraine war. Guess who also had dinner with Joe Biden? An executive from Burisma. You know, the energy company from Ukraine that paid Hunter millions of bucks. A company under investigation for corruption. A company Joe Biden said he had nothing to do with. When Burisma was getting investigated by this Ukrainian prosecutor, Archer says they asked Hunter, can DC help? And Archer says Hunter called his dad. Even though he knew it would set off some serious alarm bells for influence peddling. Archer went on to say Burisma would have gone out of business if it hadn't had the brand attached to it. And then he said the brand is Joe Biden. Archer says the Biden brand made people feel intimidated to mess with them legally. So a corrupt Ukrainian company was paying Hunter Biden millions of dollars so his father, the VP, could provide legal protection. That's what Trump got impeached for asking about. That right there. And now we know from the eyewitness insider testimony, it's all true. And after reading the transcript, this whole excuse from Democrats like Goldman saying Joe was discussing the weather with clients was actually a joke. Archer said, well, not necessarily the weather, you know. <clears throat> it's quite obvious what we're talking about. So even the Democrats' lame cover stories are falling apart. Democrats also said Archer testified that Hunter wasn't selling access to Joe. He was selling the illusion of access to Joe. Well, Goldman lied about that, too. Dan Goldman said that Archer testified that it was the illusion of access hmm. to Joe Biden that Hunter Biden was offering to these clients. But in fact, when you look at the transcript, what you see is that that phrase, illusion of access, is in Dan Goldman's question. Hmm. It's actually not what Devin Archer testified to. He says, yes, but that's not quite fair. This was about showing that there was the signal that there's influence and, and access here. So this Biden scandal is playing out like the Russia hoax. Remember, the Democrats, the media, the fact checkers all tell you the same story. And then you see the evidence and find out it's a lie. This is a big psyop they're running on us all over again. An innocent man is being locked up so a corrupt politician can remain in power.
because Archer's testimony makes Joe Biden a co-conspirator in his son's bribery scheme. Joe Biden was having dinners, on phone calls, firing prosecutors, and doing favors. That makes him an accessory to an illegal foreign lobbying racket. Joe knows this. He knows it's dicey. He hinted at it in a letter he wrote to Archer about 12 years ago. Joe Biden thanked Archer for being in business with his son. Quote, happy you guys are together. <laughs> what was the real reason Biden was so happy? Well, because it was at this very moment when Hunter and Archer made a leap from lobbying into private equity. Hunter, the lobbying was risky. It exposed Joe. But in private equity, you don't get paid direct fees for services. Instead, clients become your investors, meaning Hunter's clients were investors in the Biden access program. The Chinese, the Ukrainians, Romanians, Kazakhstanis invest in a fund that Hunter takes withdrawals from. The whole Biden family treated the fund like a piggy bank, ka-ching. This is why Biden's Department of Justice is trying to give Hunter immunity. It's basically like a full pardon and covers everything. But it's all coming out. We're barreling towards impeachment, and Joe Biden won't survive the scrutiny. He can't. The American people despise corruption, and Joe Biden does not have the political capital to power through it. If you look at Joe Biden's approval on the economy right now, it stinks. Your approval rating also stinks. More people actually trust congressional Republicans than President Biden on the most important issues of the day. And this, to me, is a very worrying sign for the president going into the presidential election year, because the fact is, if he's doing this poorly against congressional Republicans, imagine how he might do against a presidential candidate from the Republican side. It's so bad Barack Obama's doing a little CYA. According to the Washington Post, Barack had a private lunch with Joe, telling him, it's not looking good for you, pal. He warned him that Trump's going to be tough to beat. Obviously, Obama leaked this detail of the lunch to make it look like, uh-huh, I told you so. There's blood in the water, and Gavin Newsom knows it. Behind the scenes, he's building a giant war chest. His team's ramping up a national fundraising effort. His super PAC already has about six mil in the bank. So what's that mean? It means Joe Biden's wounded. It means Democrats smell it. The Trump indictment looks desperate, and the bribe bombshells continue to drop. The old man now has a choice. One more run and risk the filthy last decade being exposed, his legacy disgraced, his and his family's earning power decimated, or announce he's no longer seeking re-election and passing the torch to a younger generation. And we're almost at the crossroads. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.